I started doing this um, particular process last year and I was using uh, green and silver inks and I was sending out my cards uh, in these beautiful envelopes um, and one of the people that I sent a card to um, felt um, that she didn't want to throw away the, the envelopes or the wrapping and created this beautiful little um, children's paints, um, some brushes, a little tray there for the mixing the paints, but most importantly are these really old sponges. Uh, these started life as scourers. Um, you might have them kicking around, I don't know. You normally throw them out when they get to this stage, but they actually make very, very nice pattern making. Devices. So they're the basic ingredients. You have a variety of different um, paints. Um, with black, I favour this gold. Uh, these are completely inexpensive from Wilco. Lovely pink. Um, iridescent paints. These are, this is a very nice um, iridescent blue. I'm going to take a piece of old card which is um, was an old folder and I'm going to show you how I decorate um, the area with the paint. So I've got my I've got my brushes, I've got my sponges and I've got I'm going to use two different sponges for two different colours and I'm going to spread one colour and then I'm going to spread my second colour. So this particular folder, which was uh, brown, as you can see, brown paper, I've decorated this with two colours and I've decorated it with my iridescent blue, which is again from Wilco, and I've decorated it with um, some uh, Reeves uh, red paint that I got from the charity shop, but you could equally do it with some uh, cheap Wilco paint. Um, so first thing, um, I'm going to put my paint out and unceremoniously, there we are, that's the first job, and the second job, we'll use the uh, Reeves, oh there's a very nice pink over there, maybe we'll use the pink, oh, we've got a very nice pink. So there we are, that's our palette. You can use anything, obviously, to um, start painting. So first job is to um, take the plunge and I think I'm going to put the blue on first. So let's just clear our decks, squish it out a bit. Now the secret is not to load the sponge too much so we can take any excess off and also we can squish our paint out a bit more. So taking out our blue we just dab it on unceremonious keep going this is a bit strong as you can see if, if you if you put too much on it will give you too strong an impression. So we keep going. It's lovely blue colour. Obviously we can do this until the cows come home but that is our first layer and we can either wait for that to dry if we want to or we can go straight on with the pink. Now I'm impetuous, so I'm going to go straight on with the pink, get my pink brush, squish out my paint a bit more, and then I'm going to take my 
pink. I'm going to take my pink sponge. This is slightly wet, but you can do it dry. I'm going to put some pink paint on, and I'm going to take off the excess like this. There we go. So nicely covered, and then I'm going to apply my pink. Now that's going on quite nicely. And you can do that until the cows come home. So that is how simple it is. Um, the key is not to load the sponges too much. I don't know if you can see that, whether it's shiny. And if you are not happy with the uh, mix of colours, um, you can always apply, as I'm thinking I'm going to apply a little more of the blue here. Just I think it needs balancing up a bit. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put a bit more blue on. Just to balance up what I've already got. That's, that's a personal judgment. So there we are. You can have very nice decorated paper and you can cover it more thinly um, you can cover it uh, thicker if you want point is the base color provides a ground for the other two colors and that there the, the other two colors will be a matter of personal choice the secret is not to overload the sponges and not to overload um, the brown paper that you're using for your wrapping. And here's some I made after the demonstration. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you.